Declan, at last we can say welcome to the Arsenal. How does it feel to finally be a Gunner? First of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to you know, the Arsenal fans for, for the support so far. You know, it's been overwhelming, really. Obviously, there's been a lot going on, a lot of speculation for months. But obviously, as a player, you want to get things dealt with as quick as possible so you're settled. And, you know, today I've had my first day, so, you know, I'm feeling really at home. As you say, it's been a busy time, let's say, the last few weeks. But what's it been like for you? How have you been feeling? It's been a bit overwhelming, obviously, because of my relationship with West Ham and the love and support I have for them. It's, it's been really hard to, to walk away. But in football, amazing opportunities arise. Big clubs like Arsenal, you know, have, have, have come for me and, you know, it's really hard to turn down. You know, you only ever get one career and I really believe in what Mikel's building here, what the, what the squad is building and I'm really now looking forward to the future with Arsenal. Yeah, it is a, it's a huge decision for you, a big moment in your career, but what were the factors that convinced you that this was the right move for you? I think I've been looking at Arsenal over the last couple of seasons and the trajectory that they've been going on. Not last season, the season before they finished fifth, but you could see the style of play Mikel was implying. And then last season, obviously, outstanding season, you know, blew, blew every team out of the water pretty much. I think with, with Mikel, how he works, you know, the squad, how young everyone is, the energy now around the club, and also the challenge, you know, the challenge of now getting Arsenal back to where they belong. You know, that means a lot to me, and I know the fans really want that. And, you know, me as a player, I've come here really hungry to have more success and to spend my best years at this, at this great club. You mentioned the manager. How excited are you to be working with Mikel Arteta? Oh, I'm so excited. I think he speaks for himself. You see how he works. You kind of got a real insight into how he works on the, on the Amazon stuff and how he works with his players and, you know, not only as a coach psychologically, how good he is with players, how he improves players. I think he's a massive factor in the reason why I've come here. And also, I know he's going to get the best out of me. You know, I know I've now got more levels to go up in my game and I feel like he's the, he's the manager to take me to them next level. So I'm really excited to, to be working with him. You spent nine years, of course, at West Ham um, and played against Arsenal many times. What was your view of the club from the outside? I think, I think even growing up, you know, the history of Arsenal, you always hear about the Invincibles, the famous game at Anfield. You know, you see these things all the time. I've always known Arsenal's a big club, but just where I've been on holiday, people coming up to me in London, you know, you don't realise how big actually Arsenal is. But now I do. Uh, but playing against them, it's always been tough. You know, the, the Arsene Wenger way of playing nice football, tiki-taka stuff. Coming to the Emirates has always been really hard. Home games, you know, when I've, I've played for West Ham have been you know, games that you've been up for because it's been a London rivalry. But one thing about Arsenal is that the, the fans are so passionate. They're not scared to voice their opinion, and rightly so, you know, because this is a massive club they demand. Um, and us as players, we should demand that of each other to, know, to now push and to be successful again. I think they're the, they're the main things. And you know some of the players already, of course, from England duty especially. How excited are you to be in the dressing room with them on a day-to-day a -day basis now? Yeah, it's going to be an honour. Obviously, some, some unbelievable players that I've played with at international level and now get to, to share them same duties on a, on a club level. You know, all of them have spoke so highly about the club, how well each and every one of them have improved under the manager. And, you know, when you hear things like that, you know, it, you really take it in your stride and, and really listen because... And you've got players like Sachs, who's now one of the best, best wingers in the world, Rammer's best keepers. You know, you've got Whitey at right back, who was unreal last year as well. Smith Rowe, you know, there's so many in the squad um, and they all speak so glowingly of the club um, and the direction it's been going in the last few years. So, yeah, it's really exciting. I played with Eddie from, you know, under nines until 14s. You know, we were both released on the same day and, you know, it's, it's crazy where football takes you, you know, your journey. He's, he's made it through the ranks at Arsenal. You know, I made it through the ranks at West Ham and now here to join this great club. And, you know, we get to link back up again. Um, you know, I've always loved Eddie, even though we had that little altercation on the pitch before. You know, I've always loved him. I've always been really close to his family. His dad's a top, top guy. And he used to come on all the tours with us as kids. So, yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to seeing Eddie again and, of course, seeing all the boys. And you've met a few people today, been shown around the club. First impressions? It's beautiful. It's, a, it's an amazing training ground. Um, you know, you see it in photos. You see people, see people talk about it. You know, you walk around. You see the history on the wall of Arsenal, and it just makes you hungry. Really, it makes you hungry to to push, um, to demand more of yourself. And what I like about the place is you can feel ready. You know, you can't be comfortable here. You know, you have to push yourself to the max. And speaking to the sports scientists guys, the physios, the demands they have as well. You know, it's it's all about winning and all about you know mentality, which is what I love. 
So next stop is America and a pre-season tour. You excited to meet our supporters out in America? Yeah, I think it's another great chance to see a, a fan base who, who are in America. You know, I remember before when, when Wilshire was with us, he'd come to China and he had like his own fan base, which were all Arsenal fans. It was crazy. So they're all around the world. A great chance for us to travel and you know spend some time with them as well and also perform in front of them. I think we've got three, three great fixtures, three great stadiums. So, you know, embrace it. You know, pre-seasons pre only come around once a year, so it's time to enjoy, you know, get fit and, and start winning games. And Arsenal supporters around the world will be enjoying, celebrating this news today. Have you got a message for them? Yeah, look, I just wanted to say it's an, it's an absolute privilege to, to be a part of Arsenal Football Club. You know, the history, the players that have played here, you know, speaks for itself. And now, you know, I've joined, we have some other signings as well. You know, we're looking to get Arsenal back to the, back to the big time, back to, back to winning stuff. I think you've seen that over the last few years, how well this squad, squad has been with the manager and, you know, there's a real feel-good factor around the place. So I'm hungry, I'm ready. Um, I'm going to give everything for this club like I do week in, week out. And yeah, we're going to be, be on some journey. So I'm looking forward to it.